what's changed, Sean, is that uh, the contractor, Alden Construction, has given the department a revised pro what's called programme, uh, which outlines the work that they've still got to do and when they're going to do it, and it's changed the final delivery date. So uh, I was advised of that uh, late on Wednesday morning, um, sat down with the Director of Highways Wednesday afternoon and uh, basically discussed the situation. And uh, but we've that's led to this press release now to get the information out into the public domain because clearly I did say last week that it was going to be the end of August. That and, and, and if you go back to um, the man in line um, audios, you'll you'll quite clearly hear me say the contractor advises that it's going to be done by the end of August. I have to go on the information that the contractor who's dis delivering this program uh, tells us. And that's that was the date they were working to at that at that point in time. They've now come back and said we're not going to do that now. It's going to be uh, end of September. So uh, first thing I want to do is to get that out into public domain. So have you been misadvised by the contractor? Um, I wouldn't say misadvised. What I would say is that there's a there's a process around this whole contractual ar arrangement, um, and the uh, program is 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 a key contractual document. They've they've revised it. Uh, it's now changed the end date. And, and that's what we're talking about talking about today. So I wouldn't want to cast aspersions about the way Alden have con conducted themselves. What I would want to say is we've got new information into the in, 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 into the domain, and uh, that's that's changed the position. So it's important that the public is, is is aware of it. I mean, clearly, you know, I'm very disappointed about about this. Um, it's not what I wanted to be talking about now. It's, I'm sure the contractor uh, isn't enjoying it either. But it, it, the reality is, we are where we are. It's important that we. Uh, get that reality out there and uh, we drive on and get this job finished. You did also say on the man in line last week that there would be penalties if that deadline was missed. So what penalties will the contractor face? So there's a, there's a, there's a proper um, NEC contract around around all of the arrangements between the department and, and, and the contractor on, on this. And uh, there are, there's a value uh, for uh, each day uh, that the, the, the scheme takes longer um so it's in the contractor's interest to get this to get this finished so what's the value as, as it, for a month well i don't want to talk about precise contractual uh terms because that's not really what it's what it's about but it's important that the public does understand that we are not paying more for this longer scheme in fact actually the department is going to take some of the work on uh effectively to to assist uh alden and actually that is going to reduce the cost so uh, to the public purse so um this this is just about the about the end the end date which we are all extremely keen to get to get finished now. How is the department taking work on going to reduce the cost to the public? Will that not cost the taxpayer in terms of the DOI's no, man, man hours? No, and... because um, all the department will effectively be a subcontractor for those pieces of, of work. So if the if the department goes and lays some 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 tarmac for instance or some block paving, it'll be remunerated by Aldin in the same way as it would do if any of the other subcontractors on the island were to do that work and you know what we've actually got here is is a contractor who's struggling f f for resource they haven't got uh very many directly employed uh tradesmen they're very reliant on subcontractors those subcontractors can either come from the island or they can come from elsewhere the ones that are on the island are inundated with other more profitable work at the moment so they would rather go and do that and uh, Alden is struggling to, to, to gather resource from, from, from the UK. It has done very, very well in bringing some sub, some very hard work in Romanian subcontractors over who are, who are absolutely doing a superb job. But there's a limit to what they can do. So we're being pragmatic and saying, how do we collectively uh, get, get this resolved? And the department can um, deploy resources that would have been doing other things um, and, and, and Alden will have to pay for that. So what other things would the department have been doing? Is this going to affect other projects? It will it will affect other projects. Yes, so some of the road some of the road schemes for example uh, around the island there's there's quite a big uh, paving program going on at the moment. Paving is the technical term for uh, road road surfacing. Um th those will have to be deployed. People we've only got X amount of machinery and people and um the whole the the whole infrastructure of construction on the Alamanni is under huge stress and strain at the moment. You've only got to, you can see it yourself when you go around and see how many houses have been built, how much uh, engineering w activity is going on, and this is an Isle of Man PLC issue, not specifically a, a particular contractor or, or, or government.